and what kind of results can be expected from this? If you look at the numbers, the average is about 20 to 25 percent reduction in the circumference of the arm at the shoulder and at the midarm level. But that doesn't tell the whole story. The whole story involves much more, such as the patient's comfort in wearing sleeveless or short sleeve shirts, and how much skin actually hangs in the arm afterwards. Are the results permanent? Nothing is truly permanent. However, I've seen patients that I've done as early as 2000, and they have maintained an excellent result. They're very happy with it. I think that the only way somebody would have arms that looked as they did before when they initially had the problem would be if they gained and lost a lot of weight. That's usually the primary cause of this deformity. Now, you said that was the primary cause. Are there other causes as well? Uh, sure. Occasionally, I see patients who are young have a relatively steady weight through their young adult life. However, genetically, they were unfortunate enough to have the genes that cause large arms.